announcing today uh, a new philanthropic initiative. And uh, if you could put the slide up so people can see it. It is called the Courage and Civility Award. It recognizes leaders who aim high and who pursue solutions with courage and who always do so with civility. Well, let me tell you how I feel about this. I feel strongly enough I actually wrote something down. Um, we live in a world where sometimes, instead of disagreeing with someone's ideas, we question their character or their motives. And guess what? After you do that, it's pretty damn hard to work with that person. And really what we should always be doing is questioning ideas, not the person. Ad hominem attacks have been around a long time, but they don't work, and they've been amplified by social media. We need unifiers and not vilifiers. We want people who argue hard and act hard for what they truly believe, but they do that always with civility and never ad hominem attacks. And unfortunately, we live in a world where this is too often not the case. But we do have role models. And this award, do you have another slide here? Go ahead. It's first, wait, I didn't tell you what the award was yet. I thought there was a slide for that. Here's what the award is. You're, you, you see who the first recipient is. But let me tell you what the award is. The Courage and Civility Award is a $100 million award so that the awardee, the recipient, can give $100 million to the charities, the nonprofits of their choice. And these people, these are people who have demonstrated courage. By the way, it's easy to be courageous, but also mean. Try being courageous and civil. Try being courageous and a unifier. That's harder and way better and makes the world better. So the, we have two awardees today. They'll each be getting $100 million to direct to the charities of their choice as they see fit. No bureaucracy, no committees. No, they just do what they want. They can give it all to their own charity or they can share the wealth. It's up to them. And the first uh, Courage and Civility Award goes to Van Jones. Van, come on up. Thank you, brother. Um, sometimes dreams come true. Sometimes dreams come true. And, and the headlines around the world should be, you know, anything's possible if you believe. And um, Lauren and Jeff don't do nothing small, man. They don't do anything small. <laughs> They just don't do it. They, they dream big, uh, they love big, and they bet big. And you bet on me, and I appreciate it. And I'm going to tell you, the only thing I worry about when you say courage, I haven't always been courageous, but I know the people who are. And they get up every day on the front lines, of grassroots communities. They don't have much, uh, but they're good people, and they fight hard, and they don't have enough support. Can you imagine? Grassroots folks from Appalachia, from the hood, Native American reservations, having enough money to be able to connect with the geniuses that have disrupted the space industry, disrupted uh, taxis and hotels and bookstores, to th start disrupting poverty, to start disrupting pollution, to start disrupting the $90 billion prison industry together. If you take people on the front lines and their wisdom and their genius and their creativity and you give them a shot, they're not just going to turn around neighbors, they're going to turn around this nation. That's what's going to happen. And I appreciate you for lifting the ceiling off of people's dreams. You have lifted the ceilings off of the dreams of humanity today. And that's an important thing. Don't be mad about it. When you see somebody reaching for the heavens, be glad. There's a lot more heaven up there to reach for, and we can do that together. And the last thing I'll say is this. 
if this small group of people can make miracles happen in outer space, a bigger group of people can make miracles happen down here, and we're going to do it. Thank you very much.